Even a wounded dragon is a dangerous opponent. These ant men did well to overpower one. The beast tribes have ever summoned their gods out of necessity. That the Nath should do so out of mere covetousness sets a worrying precedent. Izel seems troubled by the Nath's war of expansions. Expansion, not expansions. Oh, I haven't heard this music in a long time. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's, there's thunder going on. I call upon the power of a primal for the greater good. Conscience, conscience, uh, oh, con conscious all the while that I do so at grave cost to the land. I reason that it is a necessary evil and willingly shoulder the burden of my sin. In suggesting that such crimes can be justified, you may argue that I presume too much. But you must surely see that I am aware of the magnitude of my transgressions. Not so the Nath. They summon their deity for no greater purpose than to expand their domain. To a scion of the seventh dawn, once sworn to eliminate the primal threat, the distinction you draw seems questionable at best. But the, the fact remains that my own grandfather ris risked unleashing the power of the Twelve in an attempt to prevent the calamity. Thus, while I may not condone your actions, I at least understand them. Not so the Nath. As you so rightly put it, if they truly seek naught but territorial gain, I can only conclude that they are ignorant of the ruinous consequences of their gods' insatiable appetite. The longer the primal is suffered to exist, the greater the suffering it will cause. It must be destroyed. How lightly you propose the destruction of this god, Master Elfino, a being of whom we know naught. Has it occurred to you that you may be sending the warrior of light to his death? Nah, I'll be fine. No, I... <sighs> you have the right of it, Estinian. To it seem it was I who am guilty of presuming too much. Pray forgive me, Alex. I do not fear my duty, as I never have. Wait, Alex. Wait, Alex need not fear face this foe alone. Like him, I am blessed with the Echo's protection, and may do battle without fear of primal influence. Let me bear this burden. Ha! Do you truly imagine yourself a second warrior of light? Remind me, how many primals have you faced, my lady? Not that it matters. We know not where this god resides or how to challenge it. As you mean to pray until it appears. Hmm. Estinian makes a valid point. Let us speak with the Vath and learn how best to secure an audience with their deity. In this, at least, I may be of assistance. The young lord certainly appears eager to prove his worth. One second. Sorry, I just took a quick drink there. So we're back. Kiblerite. We are Vath. We are non-mind. We do not hear the one mind's thoughts. We cannot predict their will. Well, that's probably a good thing, I suppose. What? This idea from your mind, generous hunters. If you meet with our god, then he will have your souls! Surely you are not so generous as that!
you wish to meet our god, offer yourself as a sacrifice and you will soon be brought before him. We would mourn the loss of such generous hunters, however. Hmm. Very interesting. You are generous hunters, yes? Many gifts you have brought, but not enough for all of that to enjoy. Maybe you could bring us just one more? We are very fond of nanker flesh, yes? The meat of a young nanker would make a fine repast. Oh, for God's sake. Hmm. It's actually quite smart having it so high that things can't just walk in. Do, 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 do. So, so far we've learned that offering ourselves as a sacrifice might work. Maybe. Alright, let's get rid of this guy quickly so we can get back and do more things. There we go. Now we've got to go the long way, because as I said, there's no easy way back in. I'm going to have a quick look at the ether thing. Do, 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 do. Ah, so for one of them you need to do some side quests. Actually for two of them. So I'm going to have to look into that after we've done a bit more main story stuff. Oh my god, I went totally the wrong way. I'm glad I actually noticed that. Let's have a quick check. What's this one called? To each his own. Low hanging fruit. Stolen munitions. Okay, that's one of the ones that I need to do. So I'm going to talk to this guy, then I'm going to activate that. Oh, well, I'm going to talk to you guys first. The Vath tell me that their tribe is not accustomed to giving each individual a name. It seems they only grasped the concept after uh, they began trading with the hunters. For one, I am in agreement with the Dragoon. Speaking with these beastmen is an exercise in frustration. And what has, has that done to do with the primal or their faith, Master Alphino? Let us glean the information we require and be done with this place. We fast to enjoy our nanker flesh. Have you been out hunting yet? Yes, there you go. <gasps> Another gift for the fast. So unexpected. Mm, yes. You will have more of the words your strange hunters hunger for. Listen now. The senses of the one mind are enmeshed by the overmind. What one sees, all see. What one feels, all feel. Alert a single nath, and the whole hive is alerted. To reach our guard undetected is all but impossible. Ah, thanks. I did not mean to talk to you, but okay. The faith are wont to allude to certain concepts without explanation, but I believe I am beginning to 
grasp a few fundamentals. From what I understand, the king-like overmind sits at the center of the Nate society, and its presence somehow allows its subjects to communicate without need or want of word or gesture. These Nath, the ones who inhabit the larger hive, are known as the One Mind, and if it was by their combined will that the Primal was summoned, those who reside in the smaller hive, however, are the Va- uh, uh, to try that again. Those who reside in the smaller hive, however, are the Vath of the Non-Mind, who, for reasons that yet escape me, seem to have been excluded from the tel telepathic bond which connects the Nath counterparts. Thus, are the Vath ignored, ignorant of the One Mind's thoughts and intentions, and of the nature of their own god. In summary, we have wasted our time. Not so. Perilous though it may have been, the Vath did f furnish us with one certain method of approaching the Primal, as sacrifices. Should we allow ourselves to be captured in the environs of the colony, the Nath will bring us before their deity to make an offering of our souls. Interesting. Let's go and see what this quest is. Though we hear not each other's thoughts, generous hunter, yet somehow you so somehow knew that we needed help. That we need help. Our weapon weapon stock are wanting. We need need more. I would make a request of you. Please, please bring us muskets, which would, which eh, with which to defend ourselves. You can take them from from the net nearby. Two would be sufficient. Really? You just want two guns? You don't want like 60 guns? Or however many people are in this camp? Number of guns? Just two? I mean, there's, there's one guard at the door for here, so. Sure? Oh my god! Nearby? That's miles away! Alphador wishes to review Izel's plan for infiltrating the Nathive. Forgive me, but let us be clear about what it is you propose. You mean to say that you would deliberately provoke the Nath, surrender yourself into what might generously be de termed their custody, and then wait until their god arrives to claim your soul? Aye, that fairly well describes my plan. You will join me in this endeavor, will you not, Alex? Judging by the great risks you took to prevent the summoning of Saint Shiva, you are not a man to err on the side of caution. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Would that I could fight at your side, Warrior of Light, but the power of the dr of the dragon is no protection against primal influence. Forgive me, but I must remain here with Master Alphenil. Then it is settled, Alex. You and I shall challenge the guards at the entrance to the colony. Once the hive is roused, we shall feign a brief show of resistance, and then allow them to take us prisoner. Okay. It's not ideal, but I'm gonna have to go down there. Kill the things, come back, and then do that again. Breaking into the hives. Are we close to fighting the primal? I can't tell. I mean, maybe? But I don't want two quests on my screen. I just want the main one that we're doing. Ooh, more thunder. Do 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 do. Ba 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 ba. Oh my god, it's a long journey. Um, nah, I'm just gonna keep talking. I was gonna say should I cut this part out, but that would be remembering and I won't remember will I so oh my god we're nearly there that's something we out so we need to kill two of the things get some flint locks there's a fate here apparently I need the fire drone ah there's one
So, no, it's a weekend one as well, even better. So let's get rid of this fire drone. Drone under. Come on, be gone. Be gone from this world! Did you get one? Yes! Aha! A new one spawned. Brilliant! Okay, let's get rid of this one. Should give us our second gun. And then we'll go back, do the thing, and we'll come back and do the other thing. Granado! Okay, we've got them, and I'm going to say that I'm going to cut it here, but if I don't, I apologise. So, yeah, see you in a second. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's finish this quest up. You have the muskets? Yep, I have the muskets. Ah, thank you, Hunter. With these, we can arm ourselves, defend ourselves. We are of the same blood as the Nate. But even we find them utterly unnerving. The way they think is one. The way they move is one. It's hard to imagine us as the same people. And has this unlocked it? Yes, it has. Not quite what I meant, but... Okay, let's do this one while we're here. The Vath the uh, storyteller is concerned about the risk of Vivanian attack. Greetings, generous hunter. I would make another request of you. Oh, failure. Fair enough. Please gather three bunches of silver dew and bring them back to us. Silver dew can be found near tail feather. These st uh, there stands a raised area west, west of tail feather where the plant grows. Gather the plants there and bring them back to us. Here. Yeah, so we need to go this way, not the other way. Fly! Uh, nope. Let's have a look. So, yeah, I have collected all of them. And I still need... Nope, I didn't manage that. I still need three more of the quests after this one. Ah, oh, and everyone noticed me. Malia. Hello, Malia the tree. Ah, oh, God, why Malia? Silver do. Silver do what? Ha ha. Jokes. Oh, no. Here is dust. Please don't be down there and make us have to run all the way back. Oh, it is! Damn it! I knew it! So I'm going to have to run all the way around. Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'll cut this out because you don't want to watch us run back again. Un momento, por favor. 